this is in vertex form. Um, what I can now simply look at is say, all right, well, now I know it's in vertex form. I just need to figure out what all my important elements are. So I have a, which equals a negative 1 half, h, which equals negative 2, and k, which is going to equal 0, right? Because vertex form is y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So now I know all these three values. So therefore, I can figure out the important information, like my vertex, which is going to be h comma k, so negative 2 comma 0. My um, axis of symmetry, which is going to be at negative 2. And then also I can look at my a. Since a is less than 0, my graph is going to open down. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do to do a graph like this, I am going to graph it using the parent graph first and then show you the transformations. So the first thing I want you guys to understand if I was going to graph this, we need to know, when using transformations as your graph, you guys have to know what the parent graph looks like. All right? The parent graph has a vertex at 0, 0. It has a point at 1, 1 and at negative comma 1. It has another point at 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, so at 2, 4, and at negative 2, up 4. That is the parent graph. This is y equals x squared. All right? We have to know how to graph that to go through. Because now what we're going to look at is notice that this graph opens up, right? Has a vertex of 0, 0. Now I have a vertex at negative 2, comma 0. So let's go over to negative 2, 0. So now I have a new vertex, right? I know my graph, instead of opening it up, now my graph is going to open down. But here's the real kicker, though. What is this 1 half going to do, right? Yes? Right. So now what it's going to do is, for all my x values, if you're going to kind of look at a table, which we're not going to do for this problem, what you say is, if you're going to go over 1, see, over 1 used to go over 1, up 1. But now we're going in the negative direction, right? So technically, if this, didn't have a, if this a was 1, you go to the right 1 down 1, right? But now we're not going over. We're going over 1, down, times 1 half. And then you're going to go to the left, down 1 half. Then, instead, the old parent graph, 1, 2, 3, 4, you'd go to the left, or to the right 2, down 4. Now we're going to go half of that. To the right 2, down 2. To the left 2, down 2. So what you guys can see when graphing this is the graph has been stretched horizontally. All right, um, It's been reflected over the x-axis. And it's been shifted 2 to the left. right? So you could say it's shifted 2 to the left, it's reflected, and then 1 half stretched it horizontally. Okay, And that's it. That's all you guys have to do.